Hello and welcome to our brand new RimWorld series, The Queer and Polyam Colony. Before we start off this episode with a really surprising early event, I have a question for you folks. Do you believe in love at first sight? Looks like two of our colonists do. First, I'd like you to note the time. <laughs> it is 11 o'clock in the morning on the very first day. We have not even had like one evening. We have not even slept yet. We landed five hours ago and we already have an event. We have new lovers. So apparently two of these three lovely, lovely people just decided they could not wait one possible second to get started on the romance. Um, I was surprised, I was shocked, but of course I am also thrilled. So I will not wake you, make you wait any further to see who the lovers are. Let's take a look. It's Rose and M. Rose courted M by telling a tale about alien conspiracies and they are now lovers. So there you go, we haven't even built single beds and now we can eliminate two of them and make a double bed instead. What an exciting way to start off our queer and polyam colony. I don't think I could have orchestrated a better start if I had planned it and I didn't. Um, so here we are, Rose and M. They are here together. Looks like M is getting ready to go out hunting and Rose is doing some hauling. We have barely, barely gotten started on this colony five hours in. Um, not much has changed since we left off last episode um, as it's only been five hours since our landing. But we've gotten started on planning the base. We've got a few little blueprints out for our hygiene area and we've got a table we've got the start of our stockpile area and we've got some walls getting deconstructed so that they can be reconstructed over here to form our first room which will eventually be our fridge one thing you may have noticed that's different is um the outfits that our lovely people are wearing. I noticed after the last episode, as I was making the thumbnail art, that I didn't give our colonists some spiffy new outfits like I like to do for new series, at least for the first three. So I had to do that after the fact, which was a little tricky, but luckily I have the character editor mod to help me out. So we can check out our colonists and their very cool little outfits. We've got Lyric, who is wearing a very nice lady's hat, sheep wool chef's uniform, since she is our main cook. Uh, she's also got a lovely matching purple cape and elephant leather boots. So she looks very styling, goes well with her hot pink hair. M, who is our main animal person and hunter, as you can see, is wearing a cowboy hat, which goes very well with her role. She's got a fleece shirt, which will give you some advantages in plant and animal work. And she's got a nice wool jacket to keep her cold since we are in the boreal climate. And then she's just got some nice gray pants. Rose is our scientist. She's very highly intellectual and she'll also be doing some building and mining, maybe a little bit of cooking as well. So I gave her a nice lab coat to go with that look and she's just got a nice blue cloth tunic that goes along with it. <laughs> My cats are making noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear them scratching. Uh, she's also got a nice vest and some matching pants and I gave her some glasses since, you know, that's the look if you want to look smart. And then she ended up popping this plasteel flak helmet on all by herself. So maybe I'll have to update the, um, the picture that I'm using in the thumbnail and include her new look that she chose herself. And she's just gone to grab our kitchen table that we're going to be using. Thank you, Rose. 
So that's our colonists. They are looking pretty spiffy. I wanted to jump in and announce the new lovers since that happened really, really quickly. I was just barely getting started. Um, I think about like 10 minutes of actual gameplay time from where we left off. And then all of a sudden that popped up. So I had to run up and get everything ready to record. I really wasn't expecting that. So let's see what else episode two brings as we start off this new series. One thing that'll be really different in this series is the boreal forest environment. There's a lot of predator animals. So there's a lot of coyotes and wolves, and there's even little otters that, though they may look cute, are also predator animals. You can see here on the list, we have many, many predators. There's also bears, quite dangerous. Um, so they will be going around the map and hunting smaller animals, which may be really helpful when it comes to having small amounts of meat that we can just come in and steal and butcher, but it'll also make hunting a little bit more dangerous. So we'll have to see how that goes. We found a nice little patch of fertile soil here that is going to be our first little area for growing some food. And Lyric and M have been helping uh, to start to clear it out. And it's not too far from our main base area, which is great. Um, Rose, why are you sleeping? Oh my goodness. Okay, go and build some, some beds. <laughs> then go to sleep. Thank you. This is strange. I haven't seen this before. Rose is bothered by wearing male apparel. Hmm. What are you wearing? I'm not sure which piece. Is it the vest? It doesn't really specify. And that's not part of the ideology, I don't think. Otherwise it would have the little symbol beside it. I've honestly never seen that before. Another challenge of living in an environment with lots of dangerous animals is that our dog is going to get hurt more often. We have a German Shepherd, which is an animal that does its own hunting for small creatures. Looks like it went after a wild boar, which was maybe not the brightest idea, Burgundy. Why did you do that? Um, so yeah, our, our German Shepherd is going to be getting hurt, so we'll have to be careful and keep an eye out for that. Well, it's the end of our first day. M has just finished building a roof so that we can be sleeping inside for the night. And I'd say we are off to a pretty good start. Is it creepy if I watch Rose and M to see if I see hearts for cuddle heart time? Yeah, probably. Okay. I'll just check them in the morning to see if they have a mood boost. Oh, we have our first threat. It's a mad rat. Let's find out where it is. It's all the way down here and across the river. Oh, and there's our tree. Anima tree. Whoop. It's got a ways to go. Whoop. All right, who's got our hunting gun? It's M. Let's get ready. We'll try to shoot it as it comes across the river. Maybe we'll get Lyric to lend a hand. Where is she? Oh, she's kind of near there anyways. All right, we'll get her to head up and come on back. Okay, it's headed this way. Ready for you, rat. You guys are not good at shooting. Although it is the rain. I've noticed the rain like really affects your shooting ability quite severely. Ooh. 
Ooh, careful, Lyric. Don't get too close. It might turn back to you. Hey, well done, M. Great job. All right, our first threat is defeated. And that rat was only one of several small creatures we have been able to find on the map due to other larger animals hunting. We've got a, is it a cougar up here? We've got a black bear that's been wandering around, making me a little nervous. So yeah, we've been able to find a few little animals. Hey, cool, it's time to name our colony. Hmm. Okay, I've gone back to look at our ideologian, the spirituality of all, uh, and I want to get something that kind of encompasses like all, oneness, unity. So I think what I'm going to go with for our faction name is Queer Unity. And for our settlement here in this rainy environment, in this forest with mountainous areas all around us, I'm going to call it the Rainy Mountain Forest. Awesome! Congrats! We now have a name. Okay, we've got the start of our power system set up with just a wood fire generator here. We've got a couple of coolers. I'm gonna move the beds out of here so we can cool it to a very low temperature and not freeze our colonists' butts off as they sleep. And we'll get that set up as a fridge. Summer has arrived, that's good news. We'll make sure we have enough crops growing over the summer. If we do end up getting some animals, uh, we've got some hay here to keep them healthy and fed over the winter. And I'm growing some cotton so that we can make some toques and other warm weather clothing because it will get cold up here in the forest mountains. Now, meat is going to be relatively plentiful, but vegetation is a little more sparse up here in the mountains. So I'm going to encourage my colonists to cook meat-based meals first, and if and only if those are not available, to add vegetarian products to the food. Looks like Lyric is already making our first meals. Hey, interesting, a transport pod crash. I don't usually get those this early. It's only been five days since we've arrived. Let's see who it is. Civil engineer named Blitz. It's crashing in a transport pod nearby, not affiliated with any faction. And our ideologian means that we believe in charity and will be unhappy if we don't rescue them. So let's go see. Here is Blitz. Tell me about yourself, Blitz. You're a space refugee. You're in pain shock. You also believe in the spirituality of all. How handy is that? Optimist, you're kind. Really good builder, amazing. Good at plants and crafting, holy cow. You don't have any major health problems. You are literally a gift from the heavens. That's amazing. And you are not too far away from our base. And I have been creating this extra spare room to use as a guest room slash hospital. So let's turn it into a hospital. Actually, mm, it's not yet enclosed. So I think I'm gonna have Lyric give up her bed just for now. And we'll maybe move a bed into this enclosed room for Lyric for now. And who is our doctor? M is our medical person. And she's already out and about, so let's have her come on down and rescue. Oh, hmm. Are we rescuing or capturing? I think we may need to capture if we want to make sure that he stays with us. You're not with any faction, so we can do that. Yeah, let's capture him because I want to make extra sure that he stays. 
because that's amazing like this is this is a really yeah he would be an amazing colonist to keep uh, that means we're gonna have to turn this into a prison hmm which means we may not want to make it our kitchen it's okay we can always open a like hole in the wall and, and pull them through and then close the wall back up yeah let's do it uh, we'll want to move this bed out of the way that room's not ready okay let's have this be the new bedroom and this will turn into a prison yes I'm sure okay M come and capture blitz what's his actual name John okay we'll think of what to call you Oh, of course, right when she's on her way back with him, our first raid is showing up. We got like really luck, really lucky, and then now we're getting bad luck. At least they're preparing for a while before attacking. Phew, that's good news. Okay, where are they? They're over here. Okay, and M is there, so she'll head back, do some stuff with Blitz to help him heal and recover. And then this person will attack. Okay, Charlie, tell me about yourself. Charlie, you're a coma child. You belong to the Defiler Rig faction and you believe in ethical ideology. What is that? Supremacist, supremacist and a raider ideology. Believes in slavery, raiding is required. Cannibalism is still horrible. Don't care about corpses. Spouse only. So that doesn't fit well with our ideology. Yeah, only one spouse. Here's their roles. Relics. They venerate bison. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll be aiming to capture this person because of their ideology. Um, but we will at least try to defeat them. Okay, she's back with Blitz and she's tending to his injuries. Amazing, well done. Okay, and we're gonna definitely set this to recruit. Man, what a crappy tent quality. You're our best doctor, M. Five. It's not that bad. Ah, oh, they're standing up to eat because now this table is taken. Uh, I don't want to put it back in the freezer. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, pirates are beginning their assault. Okay, it'll be in range soon. Go M. Yes. Okay, time to move a little bit. Run and gun. Too bad it's raining. aim is definitely affected by the rain. They're doing well. Okay, keep moving. Nice. Okay, well, we've downed him, but... Yeah, I don't think I want to take this person prisoner. Yeah, I don't think his skills are really worth having this ideology clash. Um, since they believe in raiding, they're going to be upset like all the time. I don't really do raiding um, very often like at all. 
so they're gonna be like have a permanent debuff because of that so I think we're gonna leave them and hope for people from these other ideologians I'm eager to to meet these people see what they believe in oh that's strange lyric decided to go to sleep in this bed instead of in this bed even though this is in a room that's kind of strange Sometimes in the woods, these animal predators kill each other. They attack each other, have a battle. One ends up severely injured, tries to eat the other, and it ends up getting injured as well. So that's nice. We won't have to hunt as much, I suspect. We shall see. While this visitor is passing by, let's check out the Dominion of God and their ideology since they will be the, um, the people on the map that will be assigning us our royal titles and whatnot as part of the royalty DLC. The Dominion of God believes in unified cooperative. They are loyalist, collectivist. Drug use is prohibited. Okay, so they may not buy our drugs when they're visiting. Looks pretty good though. I don't see anything that majorly clashes. The spouse and physical love thing may be a bit of an issue if we recruit people from this faction, but it's not too bad. Interesting. Well, hopefully soon I'll finish building this room, get it enclosed with a roof, and we can make some make some of these beds guest beds and start welcoming our first guests. Well, this is gross, but maybe I won't need the grave that I just dug or any graves since there are so many um, carnivore wild animals. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, that is kind of weird. Anyways, this is where I'm going to leave things for today as the colonists wake up on their seventh day, day seven, of their new home. I am really excited to be starting off the series, especially with a pair of lovers right from the start, M and Rose. Very, very exciting. I hope everyone is having a great week. I hope you have a great weekend ahead. Queer mom hugs going out to anyone who needs them. I would love to see... Oh! Oh! Another one? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's from the Dominion of God, though. If you rescue her, she may join freely. Ah, oh, we can't capture her. Bummer. Well, I guess we're rescuing her because we believe in charity. Wow, that is so weird. Oh, I wish we could capture her. But yeah, we really don't want to piss off the Dominion of God. You do not mess with this faction. They they are in charge. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's rescue her and then we'll get back to saying our goodbyes. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll make this the hospital since it's nice and clean, although we were going to switch that to the prison. Okay, I guess we're just, uh, thank goodness we have these rooms ready to go. I'm going to move Rose and M once again. This room is still not ready, so here we go. We'll put them in this room that I was going to make the bathroom, but oh well, it works for now. Who's our doctor again? It is M. I thought so. So M, come and rescue this person. Where are you? Oh, I found some meals. Okay, that's handy. Ooh, a whole bunch. Okay, we'll get Rose to get those because knowing me, I will totally forget. Where did this colonist end up? There you are. Nope, that's a wolf. That's blue. Not quite the normal blue. Where are you? Is this you? This is you. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's send M down to rescue her. Rescue, we have a hospital bed. 
And Lyric is busy butchering. Oh yeah, because we have these two animals over here that got in a fight with each other. But after you do that, Lyric, let's make you move the bed so that we don't forget to do that. Okay, awesome. Well, let's get back to saying our farewells for now as M makes this rescue attempt. And we'll take visitors another time. All right, so I was saying goodbye for now. Queer Mom hugs are going out to anyone who needs them. And I would love to see my little tiny channel grow a little bit this year. So if you're enjoying the series, um, please feel free to tell a friend, especially if you're tired of the same old, you know, cis, white, heterosexual guys in their 20s. Um, doing gaming channels. Uh, some of them are really amazing, awesome gaming channels, but there are so many cis straight guys in their 20s doing channels. So um, I'm happy to add a little variety to that. And if you have friends that would also enjoy uh, a queer, gender queer YouTuber, gamer, um, please feel free to send them our way. And I always love getting comments as well. I try to reply to every single one. And I really appreciate those of you who have joined the channel. It really makes my day. All right. I hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead. And I look forward to seeing you next week for episode three of our new Queer and Polyam series with Ideology and Royalty DLCs. Take care. Bye-bye.